it's another day and let's me i tire yeah it's 8 52 pm and then in this video i will be showing a tutorial on orion csc so i will be creating this playlist to show you a tutorial on how you can make use of orion from your beginner stage to the expert stage so let's dive in so let's click on orion and then um, orion loads and then um, show its interface but before we go deep into it everyone keep asking orion 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 what is orion used for Orion is a structural engineering design that is used to check the stability, the durability of structures and most especially building structures. If the structure is going to last long for its design period, so Orion is the software that you make use of to check if your structure is going to last long for the intended period of time. So after when Orion has been launched, it shows this opening project um, dialog. Then we click on a new project. So Orion gives us the answers to enter a project file name. So let's say I'm saving my file with Orion. And guess what? Orion doesn't allow you to use spacebar when saving your file name. So I will recommend you using the underscore. So let's say we're saying saving the file with Orion one to one. So we click OK. And Orion pops up this um, interface of a sentence center. So here we make use of the BS code 8110. I don't know what you use there so make use of the comment section below so that i can you know have idea of what you use so we use the bs8110 then click on import so run shows a data sheet um, box where you can change the sheet so the standard sheet is o not but we want to change it to a4 a3 a2 a1 and so on but we don't need to play with anything here so let's click ok and then we click so everything is is loading is loading then run brings up this interface so this is orion and um after launching orion you need to do some settings so you click on settings here and then the first setting is the general settings so here in the general settings you can change um, the the way you want everything to be you can change the grip size from small to medium to large you can change the snap aperture box to small or you can change it to large but for this tutorial I'm using large you can do this you can change the screen font but I'm using MS San Sharif so and then um, the screen font size I'm using I'm going for it so with the view save and um, so let's take this save now auto automatically Orion saves for you so here we have the automatic save in Tava so I'm using 15 minutes so every 15 minutes Orion automatically saves for me and then um, I'm choosing this number of backups to save as one so let's click OK and then that's it the next one the next setting that is really necessary is the dimension setting likewise AutoCAD gives you the the assets to edit your dimensions your text and so on Orion also gives you those assets to change things like that so for instance you want to change um, it from standard to raised well, I'm using standard for this tutorial you want to change the text position from 
inside to in from above to inline but i'm using above so if you want to change the the text size maybe to 2.1 or to 2 so that's it then dimension line and arrows you can change it here too but the necessary setting that we'll need to do first on autocad which this tutorial is basically fo focusing on is the building analysis so the building analysis you can come to run and you see the building analysis or you make use of this quick access toolbar so we click on the building analysis so automatically you run saves for you when clicking that button so let's wait till it's it pop up and then everything is moving smoothly so the build analysis interface is shown here and then here we can set our pre-analysis the model analysis the post analysis the model export and the reports but the one we're focusing on is firstly is the pre-analysis now what is pre-analysis pre-analysis is you trying to 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 make um, a conclusion in your mind the kind of concrete grids you're using the reinforcement diameters the link and 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 so on and so forth so here we click on edit material then this dialog shows up but for the concrete um grid we're gonna be going with 25 30. So we apply it to all because we're using the same concrete grid for all our our, our building components of our, all our building members so we click ok then we come to the steel grids and then for this tutorial let's go with 460 so we click apply apply to all but for the link we are changing it to 410 but do not click on this apply to all member types so click ok and then we will be setting our dimension size for all our components so the first one we're focusing on is the colon now for the colon we're using y 16 so we try to click the dialog box here and then click and we're leaving the 16 then we remove all others that we're not using okay for the wall we're not doing that but for the beam we will be using y16 also so let's look for y16 and then click okay for the slab we will be making use of y12 so for the slab you click y12 and then uncheck all other label that we are not using okay for the foundation we will use y12 then click ok and for the link we are using y10 yeah you're correct y10 or do you say y system no, we're using y10 for the link okay now we uncheck all of that and click ok so we click ok here and that's all we need to do for our pre-analysis then we'll close so in the next video in the playlist keep watching i will show you how to make use of the toolbars making use of the the peak the axis the colon the wall and so on and so forth so i post videos like this for you don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell lastly that thumbs up button must show 